Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. As I went and talked about this the other day they're letting out the uh, Nidhi Sanji butt sense, Nidhi Sanji liver butt sense. You can smell Illyra's farts from here. Uh, <laughs> just playing with you. But uh, Niji San, San Ian selling toilet perfume outside my work. That is a play on words of eau de toilette, which can be, you know, toilet. Toilet can be, you know, actual toilet. Or it can be cleaning yourself, as I was uh, reminded of recently uh, by, you know, people in my community. Uh, here is their dreamland sense and of course it's not it's not fart smells it's actually smells that each liver has chosen a perfume that each liver has chosen uh that they prefer either a floral sense either a fruity sense whatever it ends up being a strong sense a strong perfume ah and it's different than eau de parfum eau de parfum is super strong by the way all right so that it's kind of like a more for the masses because it's it's a lot a lot weaker uh it's strong enough Heck yeah, it's strong enough, but it's a lot weaker than Eau de Parfum. Uh, here you have, you know, Shiamino, and you have Elira Pandora, uh, you know, the pop-ups outside. You, very, I mean, that looks cute. I'm not going to lie. Hey, just being objective. This looks cute, all right? Well, that looks cute. Um, you have Elira, who's very much hated. Millie, who's very much hated, unfortunately. We have Uki Violetta, who we know also isn't liked very much, but it looks nice. Like, all these things, they have... The whole dreamland thing here, they're all there. It's just good for the livers uh, visibility. But if you remember, just got to remind you of one very important fact. Yes, they have their liver perfumes, but it is considered merchandise. And if you remember, merchandise has a 99% cut that goes to Nidhi Sanji after expenses. So the net income, which is after expenses, after paying everything, all the costs, after their overhead, after that, we have the uh, money that goes to Nidhi Sanji. 99% of that stays with Nidhi Sanji and only 1% goes to the livers themselves. Remember that 1% to 2%, somewhere around there, give or take another percent, so it could be zero. <laughs> could be that bad. Hope you're joking with the toilet part. Oh, the toilet is French for perfume cologne. Someone who speaks French, you're correct. It would however be funny if it was actually what OP thought. So funny to me, Nidhi is still shilling Illyra, Captain R. With, uh, despite anyone not in the cult, like, fan base viewers of them, yet Scarla, probably one of the most liked viewer talents, didn't get it. That's what surprises me. Maybe she'll be part of another, another, uh, wave of this. But Scarla, Rosamy, Petra are still liked. You know, those type of things are still liked. So, it, it I find it very strange. I find it interesting. Uh, puts ton, tinfoil hat on. Actually, curious, Scarla's been asked if she wants to be part of collabs, and might actively be refusing. It could be a possibility. Could absolutely be a possibility. If you all remember, this is a VTuber that I covered. It is Suzuya Aki. He was a male Japanese uh, liver with Niti Sanji, who was there since the beginning, pretty much. It's pretty much very, very early on. Six years, over six years. And they decided to leave. I uh, could be personal reasons. Could have been because, well, Niti Sanji is not doing very well in the sense of treating their livers very well. In the sense of giving them the support they deserve. Which is very much something that is needed more than anything else nowadays. So, he left. And he is now moving on to his next version of himself. Which is going to be this character here. They're showing everything. And this is the character that they're going to have. Izuho Omi, they will be doing a debut. By the time you've seen this, it could very well be possible that their debut has gone forward. Their debut is set for the 7th in Japan Standard Time and the 7th afternoon, I believe, in Japan Standard Time. So it will be very much likely, if you're watching this after the 7th in the US time, it'll very much likely be active. And here is their channel here, Izuho Omi. And let's take a look at their actual channel, what's going on. This is their character here. They've been having uh, several very successful uh, video shorts and uh, a playlist of everything that they've been able to have. The shorts recently is what they're doing. This is their new 3.82K subscribers, their new attempt at, you know, having their own thing from now on, which is amazing. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I love seeing that. Let's give them support. If you like Japanese VTubers, that is, give them support because this is not an easy path to take. They just, the fact that they are going back into being a vtuber tells you that it wasn't for all personal reasons of oh you know i have family this i have family that it was more like personal reasons of not liking the way things are going and sanji probably feeling abandoned because if you're leaving and then you immediately become a vtuber like this they probably feel that they have a better chance 
of being a VTuber on their own, with their own freedoms, doing what they want, how they want, when they want, compared to what Nidhi Sanji would force them to do. And of course, like, like I said uh, before, wish them luck. How Alive has decided to do school merch because the school year is beginning or has begun for many people already. Um, for the school year, just like Nidhi Sanji does, How Alive does their own school merch. What kind of friends will you make? What kind of classes will you be stuck with? Uh, <laughs> enroll in the Back to School voice pack and find out. This is their Back to School voice pack. It has these people, of course, I'm going to mute it. It has, uh, it looks like going to have, oh, nice. Looks like uh, Gigi's going to be a part of it, which is cool because she's new. She's like really new. Then you have Bibu or uh, Koseki Biju. You have Iris. And then you have at the end, Takahashi Kiara. All of them in their school days type of look. And we're going to go into Hollow Life Hollow Pro. Here's the full design. Uh, they look like, well, Iris looks like she's a teacher, and um, so does Kiara. And the other two, Bibu and Gigi, look like they are either middle school or elementary school. Uh, English back to school voice pack, shipping period, generated voice packs you purchased will be reflected on your My Account page immediately after you complete the order. So you log into the official shop here, you buy it 92 US, US dollars for all 14 voice packs, by the way. 14 voice packs. They have Mori Calliope, Takanashi Kiara, Gargura, Iris, Heikos Bales, Oro Crony, Koseki Biju, Narissa Ravencroft, Fuwawa, Mokoko, Elizabeth Roseblood, G Gigi, or, or Gigi, Gigi, uh, Cecilia, and Raura. So all of them are there. I pretty much put everybody in there. Actually, yeah, I think it's it's all of Halloween. So you get the 14 of them, you get all of them in there, and Halloween at least. Uh, you get the big ones there, you get them all there, all of them having fun. And then in the school days pack here, of course, you have all of them here, 1920 by 1080. You get that as the wallpaper if you get the full set, I believe. You get that wallpaper there. So 92 bucks having, it's it's actually a savings over the 14, I think, because uh, it's like seven bucks each. And 14, we get, no, wait, it's about, it's about the same one. About maybe seven, like, saving like six bucks if you get the full pack or something like that. So it is it is a big price, but it's a, it's voice pack with every single one of them. So of course, yeah, sales period will end. Uh, sales period doesn't end, actually, it's just started. So it doesn't have an end. So letting you know all these wonderful things about any of the livers that are here. Enjoy. Hollow Live is continuing their merchandising and continuing their products that they have for the fans to buy. Of course, they're a corporation, so they want fans to buy things as every other corporation would. Heck, I would love to have merch as well. Uh, new merchandise information. Sales decision for new apparel brand. Hollow Live production official shop. So the new apparel brand looks like it's going to be Hollow Live Connect. Uh, the first release will go on sale from 1800 on Thursday, September 12th. In addition, to commemorate the sale, Tower Records pop-up shop will be held. So they're holding a Tower Records pop-up shop as well, which is amazing. I mean, have, Tower Records is defunct in some places, but it's still available in Japan and other places like that. So here is some of their uh, visuals for it. How Life Connect, Pixel Art, Tower Records, How Life Connect is doing there. They are talking about on sale from Saturday, September 14th at 8 Tower Records stores. Special exhibitions to commemorate the release will also be held at two stores. Shibuya Store 2F and Nagoya Kinetsu uh, Passe Store. During the period, every 4,000 yen, uh, tax included, spent on eligible products, you will receive a hologram sticker. So that is fun. You'll Just for spending money that you were probably going to spend anyways, you're going to get something extra, which is what we all love to see. I love to see because that means that, you know, it's just not you're spending money. You're getting a little bit extra with it. And of course, they have the articles down there below. I'm going to show you one of them right now. The translated version is this. VTuber agency Hololive Productions decided to sell new apparel brand Hololive Connect, as I mentioned. Uh, basically, they're going to be doing that. What is Hololive Connect? Official apparel merchandise for VTuber agency Hololive Production. Products that are easy to use on a daily basis with the focus on conceptual design that connects talents and fans from the virtual world. So this is this is continuing their what they said in their quarterly reports that they're trying to connect fans to the livers and have them feel a little bit more connected. Brand logo and series logo, other things here. The sales site, Hollow Life Production Official Shop, it's going to be at Hollow Pro as well. Product is out of stock. Additional stock may be available for sale at a later date. Uh, sales of this product may end without notice. The product will also be held at Hollow Life Production Official Goods Stores. Please note that delivery of the product may occur after it's available in stores. Pop-up shops on Tower Records, as I mentioned before as well. Uh, the, they're going to be displaying autographed posters of Tokino Sora in each store. Special decorations will be implemented in the event space, tower space at Shibuya and Nagoya Kinetsu 
Passe store. During this period, a pop-up shop, every 4,000 yen, as I mentioned, you'll get something extra. And all of the stuff, the event period for the pop-up shops and things like that, a tower space, it's going to be Saturday, September 14th to Sunday, September 29th. So pretty much from the 14th to near the end of September. Uh, participation stores, uh, Tomakomai store, Sendai Parko store, Shinjuku store, Ayan Lakes Town store, Abeno Hoop, Fuku Fukuoka Parko store, and everything like that as well. 14th, these down here, these pop-up shops in the, in the tower records are going to be having all the way up to August 6th, the ones mentioned here. So if you're not in Japan, unfortunately, you won't be able to see them, but you'll be able to buy a lot of these things. These are the tower records. This is the kind of more visuals that are going to be out there. The t-shirts, the black versions are out. The, the backs of the versions are here. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Right here, here are the backs. Here's the Hololive Connect uh, hoodie with all the girls in the back. Uh, here is uh, the Hololive pixel art acrylic keychain. That's cute. Pixel art badge set. That's very cute as well. And they're doing all those things as well, of course. And this is just an explanation of who they are down here in the press releases as they always have for these guys. And once again, if you want to buy this from the Hololive store, it's going to be available here eventually. Right now it's not. Right now, you know, Blu-rays and other things are on sale. But the this is going to be sold after the 12th or 13th, I believe, of September. Patra is a... VTuber, rather large VTuber, HNST, looks like she might be part of an agency, I'm not seeing any specific agency here, so take that with a grain of salt, she says she's an individual, I'm assuming that that means that she is actually independent, let's take a look at why she's in the news today, if you reach 810,000 subscribers, and I take you to critic stands as a celebration gift, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to reach why it's 810 yen, is 810,000 yen, because it's a patrol car, it's the YouTube channel subscribers here, Let's see. Um, oh, so she's going to have the gaming as a stand. The, the, the actual, like, uh, this one looks to be more like a PlayStation controller. PlayStation 3, from what it looks like. Maybe PS4 uh, controller. And that's going to be her stand there at 810,000 subscribers. Here you have it. Base was drawn by my friend M Chan. Thank you, M Chan, for the essay book. You drew a manga about Pato's time as a student in the Demon World. And this is Patra's channel. And she's at 806, so only 4K more subscribers, which isn't easy to get. Just be honest with you. It isn't easy to get, but I think she might be able to get it. We don't know, but good luck to her. And I hope it works out for her. I hope she gets that 810 so that her fans, everyone who supports her is able to get this stand here. Nexus is more like VTuber Academy from Nidhi Sanji in the sense that you are not guaranteed to have a channel after you go through the process. Uh, a lot of people don't like the process. I don't like the process overall. But, you know, it is the process that they've chosen. It's a process that people who are a part of it have chosen as well. So I am not going to judge them on that. I don't like the Battle Royale style, but it is what it is because it's a meritocracy, etc. Nexus is saying that they're announcing a temporary hiatus for Sweet E Hiroshi. I'd like to thank you for continuous support of Nexus and our talents. We regret to announce that beginning today, Sweet E Hiroshi will be going on hiatus uh, until December 2024. Following an internal incident and a discussion with staff, Hiroshi and the management team have come to the decision together. We wish him the best while he is on his break. We ask that you refrain from asking the currently active talents regarding the situation. Who is Sweet E Hiroshi? This person here. Right here. Uh, this, is, this, this is a funny one right here. It says, before the voice affirmation, I need to get my schedule for the rest of the week done. I need to take a break for a couple or a few days to off everything. This is April 20, August 26th. This was the last time he really did anything. It was August 26th from what it looks like. Um, they only mentioned it recently, strangely enough. Uh, but yeah, he's been gone for a bit. So going to summon all my energy for stream tonight. I need to take a break for a couple of days. And the break was based on things that were happening here. Uh, internal incident. It makes me, uh, fear for what's happening inside of Nexus. If you're having all these incidents happening, if you're ha having all these things happening, I kind of fear what's happening inside of Nexus and what's going on there. So of course my wishes always best wishes for the person involved, Sweet E Hiroshi, that they're able to take a break, able to take some time off, able to relax and enjoy themselves in whatever they do on their time off because they deserve it. Every VTuber deserves that. And of course, uh, Nexus at the very least, at the very least, this point in time, they actually put out a uh, competent message for this type of thing. We're starting with this meme. So you're on your own, Nobu. Carter out. So yeah, people are having having fun with this. Let's see. It's on image flip because for whatever reason, there we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yep, 
that is that is definitely them. That is definitely uh, Riku at this point. Crevice to the east. Let's go. Got it. Crust made of yeast. <laughs> and another one. VTubers, when they tell chat to stop donating. Stop donating. I'm not your bank. But, um, yeah. Wait, well. <laughs> the, 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 um... The VTubers who do this, it's part of their their either their lore or their um their in inside joke that they get crazy when people start uh, donating. They get all nervous and stuff. If y'all remember, I did something way back in the day with uh like maybe it was uh, I don't know several days ago when I first heard about this. The uh, V Shoujo book will be on sale Lost in Nationwide. This is September second. I I heard first heard about it I think on the thirty first around that time is when I said it. You can also buy it on Booth for those who don't have a loss in nearby or for those overseas. So, probably at the request of Kason and others, they're like, dude, sell it in Booth as well. You're going to get more money. Uh, people are still going to buy it even if they can't understand it. Like, I mean, people like myself could probably buy it even though I don't understand it. It is good to see that they are doing something for overseas bros. And overseas bros will be able to get it. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in the Booth right here. We showed you a book. Sell period from 9-3 until uh 1202 2024 980 japanese yen which is about like eight bucks at, at the current exchange rate i believe it's like eight dollars so it's not even that much uh i'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh physical worldwide shipping with baie i've used baie before uh they uh have been used by uh hollow life they have been used uh, hollow life is the main one that i've, I've used it with so i trust baie i trust booth this is going to be something that you're going to be able to physically have in your hands if you so want to. Eight bucks plus shipping is not that bad. It's probably going to be something like 10 bucks shipping. Just be ready for that if you're overseas. The shipping from Japan overseas sometimes ends up being like 10 bucks or something for a small thing, even something like this, just because, you know, overseas shipping can be super expensive. But if you want it, it's available and they're going to print, it, print out as many as are purchased through here. Unfortunately, we have another VTuber graduation. It's graduation season has gone hard this year. This is uh, Cadets is your commander, Link speaking. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm graduating on the 26th of October. Let's spend our last weeks together with joy. Thank you for loving me and letting me love you. It says right here, hi Cadets, this is your commander, Link. Before I get all sappy, I want to rip the bandaid off so we can heal together once it comes off. I'm sorry to say, but I'm graduating on the 26th of October and will be ceasing all VTuber activities indefinitely in order to pursue my dreams and new opportunities. So another personal reason for these people to leave. Uh, it says, if you know me, you know that I never thought I'd ever become a VTuber. I thought it was too boring, that I sounded annoying, that I wouldn't have the personality to pull it off. Uh, I thought I'd try VTubing out and that if it didn't work out, at least I could say I tried. These months I spent as Link have been the best months of my life. I'm always surprised that when I hit the go live button, people care enough about me and my content that they show up. I can kind of agree with that. I never thought that, you know, I would get anybody watching my stuff, honestly. You all have given me so much love, so many laughs, and without you all, I wouldn't be the commander that I am today. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for loving me and caring about me and my content. And for everything you have given me, when that's whether that's lurking on my streams, commenting on my videos, or replying to me on Twitter. Thank you all for it. Thank you for being my cadet, for being part of my silly little organization. Let us cry together, laugh together, and cherish our last couple of weeks together to the fullest. And whenever you miss me in the future, please know that we are both under the same sky, under the same moon and stars, and know that I will always be with you in spirit. When you find me again, whether it's in this life or the next, in this timeline or another, let's all laugh and love together again. So whatever opportunity they had, it could be an agency, it could be just, you know, IRL work. Or it could just be, you know, they could be, they'd be moving to another country, that type of thing. A lot of those things happen. And of course, I wish them the best. What, whichever reason it is for them leaving. And it's going to be a, a pain, painful moment for their community. Uh, I'll be going live in two hours to talk about the announcement they did. They did a graduation kind of announcement thing. Love you, Link. Miss you. Uh, good luck with your future. I love you. Wish you the best. Everyone's wishing them the best. Of course, their community is going to be uh, mourning the loss of their commander. But as I said, with the content that they're leaving up, with everything that they're leaving up, they will still be there. They will still be there with everybody. So Kage, for those who don't know, is someone who was stuck in the whole uh, Kenji drama from months and months ago. Kenji, the VTuber who had issue with Sayu and things like that. They hashed it out. They fixed it. Um, but the issue also happened is that Kenji had a lot of people making fun of him, saying things about him behind his back. It caused a lot of issues because it was friends 
making fun of him, friends saying horrible things about him, friends in a, in a, a separate group, uh, people he thought were friends doing that. And Kage was someone who let it happen, and he got uh, he did he got semi canceled, I guess, but he left mainly for his own uh, interest and also his own well being supposedly. And right now, what we have is uh, it says scrolling through YouTube, saw a couple of videos like Kage's back and going over Rikami stream on where he talked about a few things. Watching the video Kage put out just kind of disgusted me. I know when you screw up in a community after either A, drop the uh, off the face of the earth, never stream again, or B, move on like nothing happened. It's just like the way he did it. Like, I don't know. If I dox someone and made fun of them and all that baloney, I would not be showing an ounce of my face or talking about my plans to move forward, saying I appreciate all who stuck around. So this person is criticizing Kage for, because, you know, he did, he did, they did a bit, they tried to dox uh, Kenji. They tried to do a lot of things like that. And, um, you know, someone else tried to dox Kenji and he didn't really prevent anything of it. Didn't try to defend. I mean, you could say, you know, dude, I don't, I don't appreciate this. This isn't cool. If you went that way and you still kind of got caught in the, in the, the web, still it will do you would look better. I want to make clear, I do not condone harassment of any VTubers or anybody in general. This person says, of course, simply informing the interested outside of in indie scenes. Um, he doesn't, he claims he did self-reflection, but this person says it doesn't seem like it, which, you know, each person can decide on their own whether they do self-reflection or not. I have no idea who this person is. Apparently, I should be happy about it that I don't. Uh, for anyone who's running who's OP's talking about, they mean Kage was involved in the Fungo Boys controversy earlier this year. He later posted a positive debate and graduated. Um, and, uh, you know, Kage is this person. The co posts are still protected. And it says, don't do it. Don't, don't harass people. Uh, he made an apology video and graduated. This is his apology video that he had created. He made. I'm sorry. Goodbye. It's one of those black uh, screen stream things. And now he's talking about content update. This isn't a doxing of Kage because he freaking put it out there himself. He put it out there himself. He talked about it himself. He did this. He said he's going to be doing his own thing for a while. He said he's going to be putting out content when he feels like it. And, um, you know, other, he tells other stories. But yeah, he's back. He's back in his own way. And uh, good luck to him, I guess. I mean, I don't have anything against him. I don't have anything against any VTubers usually, uh, except one, but y'all know who that is. But um, for my own reasons, but I don't hate people. I don't hate anybody, even that one person. I don't hate them. I just don't associate with them and I don't want to have anything to do with them. That's just it. And that's what you can do with Kage. You can do what I did with that one person who was a former friend who stabbed me in the back. Uh, I don't associate with them anymore. Uh, that's what you should do. Let them go, do their own thing, be successful in their own way, and you move on, which is I tried was I tried to do. Welcome back, everybody, to today's VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give something back to the VTuber community that's given so much to me. So much love has been given to me, so I want to pay it forward, and this is my way of doing it. Strice Strusel is part of a minty fresh VTuber, says they're chronically ill, and has uh, things like this. A good, um, cute horns. I like the horns, honestly. Uh, they have the little little mini things here. And of course, the Yandere uh, mascara running down their face vibes going on there. Uh, some people like that just for the aesthetic. Some people like that because of what it represents. Uh, I can either say part of uh, column A or column B, but let's take a look. Uh, Carpe Diem. My name is Trice Schusel. I'm an isolated ice demon. I stream Tuesday to Fridays, 9 a.m. CST, Central Standard Time. Come stay in my uh, cabin. It's lonely here for business inquiries. Blah, blah, blah. You don't go for that. And here we have. I don't know where I'm supposed there's to stuff look. Here. Hey, my, how could you? Don't you know my eyes are up here? My eyes are up here, buddy. There's nothing down there you need to be looking at. My <laughs> eyes are squarely up here. Her horns is what I'm oh, looking my at, horns. honestly. Yes, yes, my horns the are horns. very big and shiny. Yes, they yes, are. Yes, my big shiny horns. My big shiny eye catching, um, earth shattering earth bouncing bouncing i mean earth um well her earth, ears are uh, bouncing boundary break. like i'm actually look yes of course you there's there's the natural stuff down there yes but i'm looking at how cute the little fluff in your ears are and the bounciness of the ears when she moves them around you know like it's it's very bouncy very captivating very horns. active Beautiful. like it's it moves more than the than the booba honestly and i i that's that's what draws me to it that's what drew me to that and here they have their asmr channel they do have an asmr channel on youtube and uh, they have a lot of RPs in there and things like that, if that is your thing. Of course, this is the VTuber Showcase. Thank you so much, Streisel, for joining us and for being a part of it. I really do hope this helps you on your VTuber journey, and I hope this gets you at least a couple of eyes on you. Thank you so much. 
thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.